All right, hi everyone. This is the last video in the introduction section for chapter five. We're going to talk about electric power, about Ohm's law, and about the kilowatt hour. So let's start with the uh, electric power. So power is equal to P, so we use the uppercase letter P, is equal to the drop in voltage multiply by the current. It is in watt. So power did not change. We're still using the watt here. Now we're going to see right after the definition for power, Ohm's law. And because of Ohm's law, there's many other way to uh, define mathematically the power. So initially power is equal to current multiplied by drop in voltage. It's also equal to the current square multiplied by the resistance. It's also equal to the voltage square divided by the resistance. All right, let's go to Ohm's law. So Ohm's law is a law that certain material obey for a certain range of current and temperature, okay? So basically it states that the, um, uh, the drop in voltage is equal to the current multiplied by the resistance of an object. Now note, for all the circuits we are going to consider, Ohm's law will be true, okay? We are not going to go into the extreme cases where we are eating so much a material that even though you are increasing the current, the voltage drop does not increase that much. And that's for a more advanced course. For in this course, Ohm's law is always true, all right? The last part we need to talk about before solving some example is the concept of a kilowatt hour. Now you've probably seen on your electric bill uh, that you are charged for the electricity consumed in kilowatt hour. So what is a kilowatt hour? Well, it's the measure of energy that is related to a usage of a thousand watt or one kilowatt for one hour. 1000 watt is 1000 joule per second. And in one hour, we have 3600 seconds. So if you want to find the amount of joule that is consumed in one kilowatt hour, it's a thousand multiplied by 3600 second and we get 3.6 multiplied by 10 power 6 joule so in quebec when you're charged uh, 5.5 cent per kilowatt hour every time you consume 3.6 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 joule you are charged 5.5 cent okay so that's a convenient uh, measure to uh, bill uh, electrical power okay and in some question we are going to ask uh, okay what is the amount of kilowatt hour that was used all right so in the next few video we are going to put all of this together we're going to be solving some example and if some of these concepts do not make sense now wait till we solve some example it's always easier to learn while we are doing all right so see you in the next video